Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Uh, today I wanted to show you uh, how I edited the video that Brad and I did on Cintiq or Surface, a comparison between Wacom and Microsoft products for artists, and which one to pick. And normally I do the video on my phone, which is right here. <laughs> and uh, for this one, I, I did it on the computer because we recorded the whole thing in Skype. So I hadn't really spent time in Premiere for years and looked at the shortcuts it would take, watched a bunch of videos on YouTube, and uh, that helped a lot uh, figuring out some cool shortcuts. So I'm gonna show these to you right now. So here, this key right here will cut. And it's gonna cut everything down. Let's make another cut. We're gonna select everything and we're gonna delete. We're doing shift delete. By the way, this is key press OSD showing what's being pressed as well as uh, providing the clicks and beeps. Uh, I think when you're using a glass surface, uh, things start to feel very, um, I think we need more tactile and audio responses in order to make it feel um, just more responsive. It feels like you're doing something instead of just touching glass. Uh, all right, so anyway, so this did a ripple delete and that's with shift. Again, I'm gonna show that again here and shift delete, that's going to delete it and move everything over to the left. All right, so to move to the next cut, here and here, let's just go ahead and, and zoom to the entire timeline. So I'm gonna double click right here. You can see everything. So I'm moving between cuts. And let's say right here, I wanna put a little tag. Let's see if these are called tags, marker. Let's change this marker color. All right, and let's move to the next spot and add another marker. Let's zoom in and look at where we're at. Okay, um, I like this, but I wanna select just this file. So I'm gonna tap Alt and press right here. So that gives me a chance to select just one file. Um, we're gonna zoom in a little bit more. Okay, this is too close. So now I'm gonna tap Alt, click, Alt, click, click, and that's gonna help me zoom out which I think is really slow. I think it's actually just faster to grab here and pull. So we're gonna switch back to the selection tool. And uh, I think this gives you a pretty good idea. I have slip here, ripple, uh, enter. And again, I don't use these. If I wanna scrub the timeline, I can use this right here. If I want to blow the timeline up, I can select just that or tap here and select. And here's my source files. Uh, one thing that I think is pretty cool that's in this one that I'll probably be adding to most of the artist pads uh, in the next couple versions as I make new ones is this feature right here. It's, I'm using the Instagram icon because it looks like a camera, but I'm gonna tap here and there it is. I just made a, uh, grabbed a screen screenshot of a specific size. If I tap here, it's gonna give me the option of saving it this is already copied to the clipboard. Let's say, okay, go right here. And now I can go into here, like a, go and grab that and enter it in somewhere if I wanted to. So um, this, this workflow is uh, surprisingly pretty effective. Uh, I don't know Premiere Pro that well so I know some of you guys will probably have a much better understanding of how this works. If you guys are um, using some sort of a keyboard shortcut that works really well in, in uh, Premiere Pro, I actually would like to develop this further so that it's easy so someone can come in, download this and immediately get started editing in Premiere Pro, you know, sitting on the couch or in bed, like I'm sitting in bed and this is very, very comfortable. Um, yeah, put it in the comment section. I would love to see it. I think a lot of other people would really like to have Premiere Pro um, set up for quick access for them by people who know what they're already doing. Uh, all right, you guys, uh, watch uh, the uh, video Brad and I did if you guys have questions about what device to choose for doing art. And uh, that's it. All right, guys, thanks. Uh, please subscribe, and until next time, stay creative.